Hazel. Well, what do you call it? Uh, door prizes. Out and out bribery, that's what it looks like to me. There ain't anything illegal in door prizes. We ain't paying people to vote our way. We simply want a good turnout. Anything that'll get people to the polls is a good thing. No matter how unconventional it might be. Sure, now eat your cake, Mr. Griffin, and then you show us one thing on this invitation that's illegal. Yeah, show us. I got a book here that says everything about it. Now you show us one thing in there that says anything about door prizes. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> well... All your tricks won't do you any good, Baxter. You don't know these people the way I do. You won't get out 30% of the vote. Well, I can't guarantee the rest of the city, Mr. Griffin. But I do know I've been working very hard in this precinct, and I think we're going to have a fairly good turnout. I've got $100. Says you won't get 50%. I'll take part of that. Five bucks worth? Ten. I'll take ten. <laughs> okay, Mr. Griffin, you've got yourself a bet. Ah. A hundred bucks even money says we'll get out more than 50% of the vote in this precinct. Done. I hate to take your money, ladies, but it'll teach you to pick the right side. I'm warning you, Mr. Griffin, we're all going to work very hard. Yes, and we got to get a good turnout. Not only to get Proposition A passed, but the Johnsons are going to feel pretty bad if nobody comes to their party. <laughs> Come to think of it, Mr. B, this is the first time you and me have ever bet on the same horse. <laughs> and will you safely discharge the duties of the Office of Clerk on this precinct board according to the best of your ability? I will. Well, the polls are now officially open. Uh, now? Now. <laughs> oh, Mr. Griffin, you're our first guest. Awfully glad to have you. We are so pleased you could come. Now, will you follow me, please? Uh, good morning. My name is Johnson. Uh, Herbert Johnson. Now, Mr. Griffin, if you'll just sign our guest book. <laughs> it's the register, Mr. Griffin. Right here. Now, if you'll excuse me, dear Mr. Griffin, I'll, I'll take care of our other guests. Hello. <laughs> You're all in favor of Proposition A. What are you trying to do, stack the deck? <laughs> Just making a little joke. Oh. If you'd like to join us, Mr. Griffin, we could certainly use your help. Oh, I'm not impugning anybody's honesty, Dorothy. But a situation like this makes it pretty easy for a mistake to happen. So I'll just stick around and see that it doesn't. Well, we'll be delighted to have you. Sure. I'll swear you in just as soon as you voted. Okay. This is Mr. Ferguson. You sign right here, please. Nice of you to come, Mr. Ferguson. Dorothy, can you get along all right for a while? Or Mrs. Wilkerson needs a ride. Oh, sure, we'll manage. <laughs> Hang on, you stop, Mr. Griffin, for the door prize. Oh, do we have to be here to win? Well, you don't have to be, but they couldn't drag me away on a leash. <laughs> Henry. Just look at that buffet. I told you not to eat such a big breakfast. Want me to fix your plate, Mr. Griffin? You look kind of puny. Uh, thanks, Hazel. Uh, maybe later. Uh, hey, Baxter! Come here. <laughs> you forgot to swear me in. Raise your right hand. Six precincts. How are things going? Well, I'd say very slow. The polls have been open for three hours and we've only had 23 voters. Yes, we'll keep in touch. This is Margaret Malinsky. Robert Andrews. And I'm afraid that's all, Herbert. You've forgotten us. Herbert Johnson and Mrs. Harriet C. And I told the caterers to prepare for over 200. And the Baxters? <laughs> George Baxter and Mrs. Dorothy. And Hazel. Miss Hazel 